Good morning guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today we're gonna be working on our Cor our Corvette. <laughs> we're gonna be working on our Suzuki LTZ 250. The Corvette is actually parked right there, just in case you're wondering. So we got a lot planned. Let's dive into it. Roll that intro. So here it is, our LTZ 250 Suzuki Quad Sport. And our problems, well, it's not running like it should be. So we went ahead and we bought everything to do a tune up. We're gonna eventually take the carb off, clean the carb out. But for right now, we're gonna be changing the oil, change the oil filter and the spark plug, get some fresh gas in there, some sea foam. We're gonna run it through there hopefully get rid of the white smoke that's coming out the back we'll figure all that out so i guess first first we got the air filter that's the first step so let's go ahead and do that now the first step is to reach under here right there is the seat release pulling that pull the seat back and then we'll have it off we can set it right there out of the way Next step is to discover the air box, which happens to be right here. So we just pull that off, pull that off, and then that'll come free. Take that little hose off, take that whole piece, and we're just gonna set it down there. Look, it's pretty dirty. And here's our air filter. Now I put these zip ties on here to help hold it in. We're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver to unscrew this. Then we can get our new filter on there and get that nice and clean. So let's get to it. All right, so now we got my Phillips here. I'm gonna loosen that screw right there until it's all loose, just like that. And then this whole thing will come out. And we can really look at this guy, which is pretty dirty. Let's take that off. Take that out and we'll wipe that down. And out with the old, in with the new. Which this I ordered at O'Reilly's. O'Reilly's Auto Parts has this. They're, well, they're able to order it. It is part 24283 right there. A Wix filter. And they do have these. And they're able to get them, which is super awesome because we don't have a Suzuki dealer near us and the nearest one has to order parts. So there it is, our nice new filter. It came with some gloves to help install it because that oil, nice, let's do this. There you go, that looks a lot cleaner. But before we do this, I would like to clean out the air box. So let's take our towel. Let's look at that guy. Let's just come in here and wipe out some of that dirt, some of that dust. All right, so we got the air box out, and then I took that little piece out, and I have it on the other side of the quad. There's a hose that hooks onto that little spot that goes up to it, but it is really dirty. So we're gonna clean that up clean that out and then eventually we'll get into the car but before I pull that car out we're gonna pull out the plastics because that'll make this a whole lot easier so we'll do that by removing all of these all over we are missing some but we're just going to pop all those little pins out all the way to back here we we'll have to take the, these bolts out pop that off and then there should be a few more of those pins and we'll pull them off and be able to take that front piece out of the way and open up a lot more for us. Here's the part that I pulled out from the carburetor to the air box. And there is this little mesh piece in there. It is also super dirty. So I'm just gonna clean that up with a little bit of carburetor spray, some carb cleaner. 
we're gonna get all this gunk out of there clean it up real good and hopefully this all of this is gonna help it run like it's brand new again there we go we got that mesh part put back in there it's all nice and clean now the last step is not necessarily a step that needs taken but we're gonna clean these rings up a little bit spray a little carb cleaner on them it's just make them nice and not not all nasty like they are because they're pretty bad they're pretty nasty and using the carb cleaner you don't want to breathe that stuff in so you want to make sure you spray it a distance away from you and also wear some eye protection because I've gotten that stuff in my eyes and it burns man does it burn don't suggest it definitely suggest wearing some eye protection it's a super simple step I mean I'm wearing I'm wearing sunglasses it works great <clears throat> get that cleaned up and then we'll get those plastics off get the carb out all before we put that air filter back in there but this little hose here is what goes on top of the motor into the side of this air box and we're going to clean this as well so i'm just going to spray it down with some carb cleaner too nice little spray doesn't need a whole lot just enough and wipe it all down and then that will go back inside of there just like that and then we'll hook this bottom one back onto the motor all right so go ahead and finish out your air filter job you're gonna have to put the air filter on the little plastic cone and then you can set that push that down in there like that but you notice there's that pin right here and so on here that's gonna go inside of there set this down and get your screw on I'm gonna set you guys right here real quick and do that so just like that that's now in there don't mind the battery tender just popping off we'll fix that and now we can screw this in, put our box, the top back on, we'll be ready to ride. I'm gonna go ahead and finish screwing this in, almost there. And that's just gonna help hold that filter in place, not let it bounce around, not gonna come loose. Then we'll take our box here and we can re-loop that around. There are some slots in the back that you gotta watch for. like that and boom there we have it the quad now has a new air filter it's gonna be breathing in some clean air that uh, screen from the carburetor the coupler right there we got that put back in and it's nice and clean and you guys can see right there is where that goes back in and then you don't want to forget to screw that down and that is a job done now you just got to put your seat back on fire her up however if you guys are interested i do have an oil change video on this coming and a carburetor swap because i went ahead and i just bought a brand new carburetor for less than what it was going to cost to rebuild this one so i'll do a swap there and as well we changed the spark plug and uh 
I mean, that, that change in spark looks pretty easy. I mean, honestly, you take this plastic off, it gives you a little more room, but you can get to it right here. Just pop that guy off, put your socket on there, pull it out, put a new one in, put that back on there, you're good to go. Soon, we'll have this puppy back up and running. Good ride. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that thumbs up. Click that red subscribe button. Don't forget, we just started a new family channel. So if you guys are interested in the family stuff, head over to Arctic Vet Family YouTube channel and subscribe there as well. We'll catch you in the next one. Have a great night and God bless. Don't ever give up. God is here with you. Yeah. You are a child. Nothing but love is true. This God is fixing you. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting. Only through Jesus Christ. He came to die.